What's up, guys? Welcome to TMG Podcast. This is actually last week's episode. If you want today's episode, uh, that'll be on our Patreon right now. Uh, you can get it a week early if you contribute. It's patreon.com slash tinymeatgang. Um, so thanks if you do that. And if not, enjoy this one. Peace. All right, I want you to tell everyone what the <laughs> fuck you just said. I'm going to f- take another bite of this burrito. And I want you to tell everyone what the fuck you just told me. <laughs> <laughs> word okay. for word. Okay, so we're like writing this song, right? And I'm I'm like rapping in my verse that I wrote, and he was like, "Man, I got a I got an idea about." Or no, wait, should I should I say the origin? It might ruin the song. I don't want to fucking no, no. ruin the song. No, don't tell him the origin. Okay, we're just talking about porn, <laughs> and he was like, <laughs> he was like, I never I've never been into blowjob porn, like I've never I've never wanted to see that, and I was like. I was like, I've never been into the the shit like where a guy eats a girl out in porn. Like, I, that's the part I fast forward. <laughs> I was like, I was like, <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's weird, dude. Who wants to see a girl get pleasured? <laughs> no, you. <were. laughs> and I was like, wow, that was the gayest thing I've ever said in my no, entire no, life. No, you were like, who is into that? Who is into? A woman getting pleasure. Who wants to see that? <laughs> okay, let me fucking explain. Let me explain. Please do. <laughs> Who is into a woman getting pleasured? I was like, wow, that's that is yeah, yeah. that's just top top yeah. tier gay. Yeah, top tier gay right there. Uh, no, what I meant was <laughs> when you're watching pussy, porn, cooties. you want to watch. You want to you want to picture yourself as the dude, yeah. right? Yeah, you're not, like you're not watching two people fuck. You're like I want I you know you're watching you're watching you fuck that girl, mm-hmm. right? I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Who knows? But Man. I love to watch me pleasure a woman <laughs> as well. <laughs> no, I'm, uh, uh, I don't know. I, there's no <laughs> digging myself back out of that one. It's just just gotta. There's the gayest thing I've ever said right there, <laughs> right there. There it was. Who is into ever, a woman getting pleasure? Who? Don't know if I'll ever top that shit. Who? It's either it's either gay or it's like it's like sociopathic. Uh, in what in what sense? Like 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 I don't give a shit about the other person getting oh, pleasure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to picture myself getting pleasure. Mm-hmm. You know. Mm-hmm. So I'm either yeah. I I just did a cameo, and uh, <laughs> the the request was. Can you roast my boyfriend? Uh, just give him a light roast. Tell him at 22, it's not too late to stop being a Mr. Struggle. Just give him a light roast, parentheses, he masturbates a lot. <laughs> and that was it. And I was laughing. I was like, that's the most passive-aggressive thing I've ever seen. Yeah. And I'm like laughing as I'm doing the cameo, because usually a cameo, you know, like I drum up a joke and then I <laughs> deliver it. But this one, I was candidly chuckling, and because I'm like, bruh, this this is just a very thinly veiled stop jacking off. <laughs> stop jacking off. Why don't you get your dick up <laughs> when I want to fuck and stop beating it to death before I can see you yeah. after my last class at whatever the fuck college and, I'm at. Yeah. And everything else I've said to you hasn't worked, hasn't gotten you to stop. <laughs> so instead what I'm going to do is have another man shame you Yeah, <laughs> via like a 10 second video <laughs> to get you to stop jerking your dick. Uh, so I told the bro, I was like, oh, this is the first of many passive aggressive comments and to get it all out now, because once you move in that, that it's over. Yeah. <laughs> the personal pleasuring is gone. Gone. Yeah. Goodbye. Or yeah, you got it. Well, it becomes gotta, rude it's, it's, after a while. <laughs> Yeah, it does, and you can, but like you know, you can adapt. What do you mean? Just find the right windows. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that give you enough time to recover, so that by the time she gets it's home, like, you like, like taking steroids. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to cycle. <laughs> you have to appropriately cycle the masturbation when you live with a girl, so you can have enough energy <laughs> to come back and fucking mash her. Because <laughs> when you live, when you don't live with a girl, it's just like any time. Oh yeah, it's free reign. Like free reign. Yeah, it's but <laughs> like all those all those stupid memes about like like me, my meat, and like 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 it's like a meat, like being afraid of what you're gonna do to it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. it's kind of true. <laughs> like man, a single man brutalizes his dick, <laughs> destroys it. I mean, it's really the only thing that keeps you sane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When, when I was single, way way back when. Yeah, definitely just 
Yeah. Well, how long has it been? <laughs> ten minutes? It's ten minutes. Fuck. Well, it's the best procrastination method ever. Yeah. Yeah. You were like, well, I, I should probably just clear my head before, like in college. Absolutely. Like, Absolutely. I, should, I should just clear my head before this <laughs> essay, before I dive into this thing. I just want to go in with a clear head. And so I'm going to watch violent, <laughs> hardcore porn <laughs> in order to clear my head. I need to fuck really bad right now. So I need to just get that out of my system <laughs> by observing like human just tragedy borderline. Yeah. I need to see an insurance claim. I need to feel guilty before I start yeah. this essay. <laughs> I want that feeling of guilt you get. I want that light fatigue. Isn't, uh, isn't that crazy? What? Humans will, humans will like, like <laughs> not sin, but like do something like taboo to the point of guilt mm-hmm. in order to like mm-hmm. truly come, mm-hmm. you know? <laughs> It's yeah. like you come and then right afterwards it's like, why did I do that? <laughs> why? It's like the moment, the moment you release. You're like, this was a really bad idea. Yeah, wow, yeah. fuck. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's just porn, dude. Yeah. Um, porn, I, porn feels bad. I don't know. Why. Like, it's such a crazy thing. Like, I want to know why. Like, why it feels bad. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like literally the second I finish is like, oh. Like that was, I'm a I'm a <sighs> trash human being. I should just have written this essay. Yeah. Now I'm tired, and I have to think about what I just cranked <laughs> to. I should clear my head. I'm gonna go. Yeah, smoke I should clear my joint. head again <laughs> and crank off again. <laughs> and crank off again. <laughs> and I feel really bad. I don't want to go into the essay with this mindset. Yeah. So I, I got to clear my head again. Just and just jack off again. Pornhub.com. <laughs> yeah. Fortnite. All right. Enter. <laughs> 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 oh jeez because you don't get enough Fortnite by playing it you know yeah you gotta watch the porn you too you gotta crank to it that's one of our buddies we we wrote a the, the writer for Go Rodeo mm-hmm. the show we did on full screen um, <laughs> we did one episode about like Pornhub insights because they're really funny and like the engineering team there is really good and they'll like every year release yeah uh, like insights on what people are searching and uh, like the top rated search terms of each quarter and stuff like that and yeah. like of the past <laughs> what year or something like that yeah the number one search term has been Fortnite. yeah it's it's crazy like what playing the shit isn't enough <clears throat> i searched one playing, like you don't get enough fucking dopamine no uh uh you know releases by Hell just no, playing bro. that you're shit you're staring at that skin's wagon all day <clears throat> you start developing like emotional attachment to her yeah yeah i you guess know? that's true the harley quinn one the harley quinn you yeah. two are just you know fucking busting heads yeah you know she's always winking at you doing her cute little dance mm-hmm Gotta make it real. Yeah, that's true. Gotta like, let her have it. Like, knock me down. Just do it. <laughs> Revive me. Revive me. Revive me with that with that sugma. Yeah. Revive me with the, Wait, the what? Sugma balls? Oh damn it! <laughs> God damn it, dude! <laughs> Revive me with the sugma. Uh we should tell him the other one. Yeah, dude. I was um I was playing Pokemon the other day. Yeah? Yeah, and I actually uh I uh I caught a Chocoma. Oh, which which one's that one? The choke on my balls. Oh. <laughs> 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 I love cameo requests that are. I just got one in the car. I was I was about to do it. It was like, hey, it's uh, our little brother's birthday. He's turning blah blah blah. And so, could you say happy birthday and also tell him he has the best sisters in the world? I'm like this is fucking selfish. Yeah, yeah. That's fucking so self-serving. Mm-hmm. You're gonna fucking, what are you gonna take over your brother's birthday video? You just mm-hmm. paid however much money for this video mm-hmm. and you're gonna make it about you? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Happy birthday, Braylon. Your sis, your two sisters are the best, and I'm gonna spend more time talking about them mm. for your birthday. Yeah, you should be. This video is for you, but your sisters got it for you, so they fucking rule. <laughs> also, everyone watching this video, waiting for the exciting part, it just happened. It's called your sisters. All right. It happened 18 years ago when your dad nutted in your mom yeah. and made your sisters. Yeah. That's actually verbatim what I said. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's the best part of your family. Enjoy. Happy Enjoy. Birthday. Yeah. You were a mistake. Goodbye. <laughs> Braylon, when you go home tonight, I want you to count how many pictures of you there are and how many pictures of your sister there are. Do the math, dude. You're the least favorite child. Yeah. Love you, dude, though. Happy birthday. Not Happy as much birthday. as your sisters, though. Yeah. Happy less important birthday. Tell him to call me. <laughs> but don't do that also. <laughs> yeah. uh, who is into watching a woman get pleasure? Yeah, dude. That, fucking who, who is, is into, into that, that shit? Who is into that? Who is no, no, into I, that shit? I get what you mean. 
that part of porn is always really weird. Why is it weird? Because uh, I think... Why is it weird to watch another dude eat pussy? Because I think the frame is only just a dude's, like... It's like always like his chin is... They always have a beard. I don't know why all porn guys have beards. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And then it's just his shoulder and then, like, ambiguous leg. Like, you don't really see anything. It's just, <clears> like, dude and then making noise. Like... <laughs> <laughs> like he's just getting in there like doing whatever and then like they'll sometimes like punch into the real close and he's like doing shit with his hand but this is just like <laughs> he's just like eating out like looks like he's like eating out of a faucet you know what I'm saying it's just like liquid and tongue and face and you're just like what even is this anymore it like I think you're thinking it you're thinking of it in a director's mindset yeah <laughs> you're like I just don't like the frame you know, you get the well, no. chin, you leg, you don't really see much. <laughs> Lighting's always pretty bad because you, you can't really get that's light what, in that's there. That's what I'm saying. It's just like, and it's like it's not visually appealing. It's just always just like some guy like mushed up against someone. Just like, eh, yeah, yeah. Like, you know, he's yeah. getting in there. Like, yeah. And you're sitting there with holding your meat. Just like, <laughs> it's well, like, what am I watching, dude? This girl's getting pleasured. Oh, soft. It's gross. Oh, Ugh. I'm going soft. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Dude, losing my boner. I just thought about like that fucking Wojak meme, like the guys in all like the like Bizanachi videos and stuff. Yeah, just yeah. like Wojak just sitting on his dick, <laughs> watching a girl moan on his computer from another guy. His, it's like his dick has the same face as him, <laughs> like his his shit, fucked up face on the end. They're both just sitting there. You know what it is? I think watching a girl get eaten out in porn is like getting cucked. Like it's a little cuck. Yeah, you know, like you're like you like this girl. No, that doesn't explain it either. I th well, like you're like like you were just saying like oh I watched this girl I imagine that's me like teeing off on her and then it like breaks like the fantasy. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, because you don't eat pussy. Yeah, yeah. I would never. <laughs> ew, gross. <laughs> you're like this is unrealistic. This is unrealistic. This would never happen. Yeah, this would never yeah. happen. A guy I mean, eating the dude's ten inch dick isn't unrealistic. It's it's no, the eating pussy. Part. No, in, in my mind, in my head, I have a ten yeah, inch in dick. Yeah, in my so head, like, I have a twenty five inch <laughs> dick. It's twenty five feet long in my head. It's fucking huge. I could take out a freeway with my penis in my mind. And porn assists but that eating pussy. <clears throat> no, because porn assists that because you never see the guy's head. It's always like you know, his neck down. Mm. He's like ambiguous. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's done very well. Yeah, yeah. You can just put your, yeah. you know, and then she's like, yeah. Uh. <laughs> Sometimes they just happen to say your name and you're like, what? Where did that come from? W what? What girl has ever said uh, Noel in a porn? It's just, you know, it's just the schizophrenia at work. First of all, no guys are named Noel. The, uh, no, not, not, not a man's name. The original. Not the original. The original. Chris Kringle? Saint? Who? Chris Kringle? Saint Noel. Saint Noel. Original. Oh, oh you original. Santa? Yeah. Well, no, no, no. The Saint. The Saint. Patron saint. Oh, there was a Saint. There was a Saint. Yeah. Saint Noel. Yeah. Oh, it's and a he was a man. Oh, okay. Man. Yeah. Okay. So I'm so wrong. So two rip guys. That. Rip that. Two yeah. guys. Me and him. Yeah. <clears throat> anyway, um, so you're watching this VR POV porn, and you input your name into a form. Sometimes <clears throat> they say your name. You never done this? Mm -mm. What? What? I'm, I'm listening to this like it's real. <laughs> <laughs> not a joke. I'm like, I'm like what the fuck is he talking no, about? But, no, okay, seriously. I feel like in porn, the the dude's head is always like like obfuscated or it's ambiguous. Yeah. All right. And the moment you see like this fucking this fucking crusty ass dude like bend down in the frame and like he starts going off with like, oh yeah, you like a fucking then then it's <laughs> you, like you what? Oh, yeah, you fucking you like a fucking, fucking hog. Yeah, you fucking like that fucking cog in your fucking <laughs> face. Oh yeah, let me give you that fucking uh, yeah, yeah, fucking cog. Like you want to fucking eat your puggy? Uh, yeah, <laughs> puggy, no, <laughs> no, puggy. <laughs> <laughs> I think it, that's it. Like it, it breaks, it breaks reality right there when that dude gets into the frame. Yeah, and you see his face. Yeah. and his personality. And yeah, you're like, oh, and you're just sitting there like whoa, Jack. With your Wojak dick. Yeah, yeah. Like, well, this is not the part I signed up for. Going soft. <laughs> he's, getting a, he's getting a house. He's getting a house. Eat pussy. Yeah. <laughs> Lord the pussy sequence. <laughs> Skip past that part. Why why is this the exact conversation that happened in Superbad? Which one? Pretty much the exact same thing. Oh, We're talking it? about 
Yeah. The, I don't remember. The, what? It's like an know. iconic when he's like, I want to see the dick going in. He's like, if there's no dick going in. I don't get off to that shit. Yeah. And the other guy was like, I like a porn that's like nicely directed and shit like that. <laughs> I this is the exact completely same conversation. I completely forgot the scene. Yeah. Well, How did you forget that scene? That's like an iconic scene. My brain just after a certain amount of years, it just starts dumping information. Fair it's enough. Just, it's yeah, out yeah. later. Mm -hmm. It's gone. Yeah. I just don't keep any at all ever. <laughs> that's that's how I keep room in there. Yeah, yeah. I'm right, I'm just waiting for the right piece of info, right, to log in the memory. Yeah, and then I'll be like, thank God, I. Yeah. This is why I've had a goldfish memory for 15 years because because <laughs> you were born with a fucking eight gig flash drive brain. Yeah, exactly. And <laughs> I'm just waiting for the right shit to log in there, like Elon Musk's house. Yeah. That's fucking yeah. filed in there. Yeah, yeah. That memory is. Yeah, that's 24 kilobytes that will never be forgotten. That never be forgot, for, forgotten. For, See, forgot. don't know how to say forgotten either. That's one that I've ejected <laughs> to make room for Elon's house. I like to see a dick going in. Yeah, that's what he says. Yeah, he says, I want to see dick going in. And I remember be, dudes being like, yes, thank you. But yeah. it's like, why? Are we all gay? Uh, why do we need to see dick going in? It's a, it's a great because question. You, but you see dick going. But it's like, I'll also watch lesbian porn. Yeah. I yeah. like that shit. That's how everyone starts. You know, you start with lesbian porn and then you and then you move <laughs> on to the dick. <laughs> you move on to the dick. Yeah. Yeah. Or yeah. no, you start with Maxim and like FHM in yeah. airports. You know, you're getting horny in airports. You know what I'm talking about? No. FHM magazine? No. Maxim? What? I mean, I know what Maxim is, but I, I don't, I've never like looked at that and been like, yeah, let's start here. Or no, you I mean like, I mean, I'm talking about like, that's your first like <clears throat> foiree into like, into like, risque content right oh no or like taboo well not pornographic stuff no i got i got the real deal you went straight into porn or like, you went to play on board. accident on it yeah uh oh man oh i can't do this i can't tell this story wait why no i, I really can't oh i really can't really yeah i really can't damn all right well can you tell like a say like a yeah 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 so um unintentionally uh i discovered um, a, a relative's tapes. Okay. And that's what happened. Okay. And okay. I got the real deal. Okay. It was like dome. Like, <laughs> like Wait, I just, I put, we're the, not talking about home videos. No, no, no. Okay. No, 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 no. Fucking <laughs> damn it, dude. <laughs> oh my God. Yes. Yeah, so and my dad is <laughs> fucking my mom. And it's POV style, right? To death. And so I got some weird Freudian <laughs> shit going on now a days. My dreams really, are kind of strange, but <laughs> the, you know, the stepsister stuff that's trending on Pornhub, <laughs> that's all me, dog. <laughs> no, no, no. But it was, um, uh, yeah, like I popped it in thinking it was something else. And then it was just <laughs> okay, okay, and I was okay, like, okay. And you're like, what whoa! The <laughs> <laughs> you can do that. Someone does that to that. Whoa! whoa. Yeah. And Damn. Then that's what happened. That's crazy. And there was there was Sugma on there. What? 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 What's that? Sugma. Sugma balls. Oh. <laughs> Uh, so you went straight to the hard shit. Yeah, I went straight. So there was no... Went straight to Gakma. Really? Yeah. What's Gakma? Gakma balls. Oh, god damn it. Yeah. <laughs> so there was, there was no, like, intro to porn. No. Porn 101. No, I got that, and I got that, like, first hit, and then I would see kids in school talking about, like, Playboy and, and this and that, or I found this magazine, and I'm like, fellas. You're like, I got the real there's shit. DVD. There's straight up DVD. I feel like there's always that one kid in like, uh, like middle school movies. The one kid that has the hard shit. Yeah. And they're like, no, this dude found his dad in Playboy's. Like he's, you want to see some fucking titties? <laughs> it's like through like no clothes. These things are huge and they're swinging around right on the pages of this blessed magazine. <laughs> Just that sense. <clears throat> you want to see some titties? You want to see some fucking titties? Yo, Drew's dad's got some tits. I mean, not <laughs> like dad. actually, not like actually. I mean, he does. He's pretty fat, but like we're not going to see his. <laughs> not his tits, dude. Like printed tits. <laughs> they're sick as fuck. <laughs> Damn. See, for me, it was like, it was like you'd walk through, like we, we used to go to Chapters, you know, the mm. bookstore. Chapters. Is that only in Canada? Maybe. Yeah, I'm indigo, say, yeah. indigo, no, no, because like Barnes and Nobles. Yeah, these sound like strip clubs. 
Chapters? Yeah, chapters. Chapters sounds like a strip club. A little bit, yeah. Does it? An indigo? Indigo definitely sounds like a strip club. <laughs> yeah, it definitely does. You want to go head down to indigo? <laughs> yeah. Sick tits yeah, down there, fuck man. Fuck it. Um, so, no, and then there was this other bookstore we used to go to called the Spearmint Rhino um, before. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. No books in there, but um, my yeah. dad loved it. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I don't know why it was always a big deal trying to get me in, but he'd get me in. <laughs> it's fine, and that's actually where I learned about porn. <laughs> no, we used to like we used to. There was a mo- or there was a bookstore beside the movie theater we used to go to. So like while we're waiting for the movie, we used to go to this bookstore. Yeah, and I used to go straight to the magazine aisle. Got it. And like pick up one of the because like there's garters, you know, mm-hmm. so you can't see like the torso the tits, of the yeah. woman. Yeah, you can just see the head. Yeah, and it's always wrapped in plastic. Yep. So you kind of just got to like. Jerk the ding dong to the first, to the cover, you know? Yeah. You pull it up out of the thing and you can kind of see a little bit of boob or whatever. Yeah. Nah. And I, then, you know, then, then websites after that. No, nah, I know what you're talking about. Um, it was funny because the same thing, there's a movie theater where I grew <coughs> up and there was a bookstore right next to it. And people would, uh, like, you'd always just see like a smarmy dude mm-hmm. just like standing in the magazine aisle, just like with those magazines. But, on occasion, maybe someone's just feeling bold and he just, <laughs> just ripped that shit off. Oh, yeah. And yeah, just ripped be, the plastic off. Yeah, and he's just chilling there in the aisle, just getting a boner in public. <laughs> just a cool public boner. <laughs> Doesn't give a fuck. Nothing like a poner. Nothing like a poner. You could do that in, the, like, you know, 90s and 2000s, though, because you had, like, Jinko <laughs> jeans, bootcut jeans. Like, big jeans mm. were normal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could pocket. Yeah. Pocket. They, what, what was it called? Pocket? Pocket pool? Pocket pool, yeah. 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 No, but I think jeans were big enough then that some guys could just get full wood. You'd never know. Oh, really? <laughs> they're just that far yeah, out. Yeah, just far <laughs> just, You know, just a short, shortly stacked man. I love the gen- <laughs> love the Jinko jeans. Give me a lot of freedom there. Raver pants? Raver pants is a good pair of pants to mm-hmm. just go full wood. Yep. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Those are like coming back. A little bit, Raver yeah. Raver pants? Yeah. Yeah. Coming back where, though? Hmm? Where? Just all over, like in the rap scene. Yeah? Yeah, dude. Who's wearing those? A lot of people. Yeah? Yeah, like tons Cole. of people. J. Cole's been wearing them. <laughs> <laughs> Lil Pump's been wearing them. Jay-Z. Jay-Z, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Yo, speaking of <clears throat> hip-hop, while we're on the topic, um, the well, this isn't really hip-hop, but the fucking Boonk Gang passing out on, oh, yeah, on, the, on No, no jumper. jumper. Yeah. That shit was... Hard to watch, honestly. Yeah. Pretty fucking hard to watch. I don't know, like, what, what was he drunk? No, no way. What do you? Th- I couldn't Xanax tell. Xanax for sure. Yeah, Xanax or painkillers for sure. I only watched like the few minutes, barely, like leading up to it, and I just saw just how fucking trashed he was. I, I just couldn't tell. He was like sitting there, like my my Twitter is at Boon Gang. My Instagram is at Boon Gang. He's like looking at Adam like his eyes are just like he's like on autopilot. Yeah. Like it's like dude every part of his brain is like go to bed. Yeah. Go to sleep. But yeah. something is like keeping him awake. Yeah. <clears throat> and, and he gets up and just fucking falls right into the wall. Like so can't good. even doesn't have no no sense of balance at all. And Adam's like what the fuck? And he turns around he's like can you can we get a, can we get a picture? <laughs> <laughs> and he's fucking, like, yeah, I mean, sure. If he, as long as you don't vomit on me. The drool just oozing out of his fucking mouth. <laughs> the, the moment he smiles, yeah. he's like, and <laughs> he can't even fucking like. He can't even get the muscles in his face to work. <laughs> like it took so much effort to do this. <laughs> He's just just pulling his skin back, <laughs> like a fucking just like foreskin, just like trying to unsheath his teeth. It's fucked up to laugh about it though, because it's like this guy's clearly in trouble. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's You're in doing that spot. much fucking zans, zans or yeah. perks or whatever the fuck, you dude. Stop, homie. That's like you're in deep. You're in fucking deep. Yep. Yeah. I always think it's funny, like when people brag <laughs> about how many zans they're on or perks. It's like. You're gonna die, bro. Yeah, I know. Like, <laughs> you're, it's gonna happen, dude. There was this video that came up. Who I recommended? It was like yawning. Oh, sorry. Knock it off. Sorry. Fucking sue me. All right. <laughs> <clears throat> um, it was a video that came up on recommended. It was like, how much uh, Xanax does Lil Pump actually do? Because mm-hmm. like, I'm kind of like, part of me is like, I think he's actually quit drugs and he's just. Using drugs as like a 
you know, it's like a it doesn't fun seem thing to like he's about. on them anymore. But yeah, there are days where I'm like, maybe he's on a lot. Well, this is only from like the beginning of the year. Yeah, and it was like Tana was on No Jumper, and she was like, "Keep going." She was like, "How much Xanax does Lil Pump actually do?" And Adam was like, "He does a lot. He does a fuck ton. It's like the only thing that like makes me really uncomfortable with his like stardom right now is that he like does a shit ton of Xanax." Which is crazy. Not good. And they were saying Bunk does five bars a day. Oh, fuck, dude. That's crazy. That's death, homie. That's, dude, that's uh, five fucking bars a day? That's knocking on the door right there. Yeah. That's it knocking really is. on the door. He, I mean, it, it is, and it's also just like your your life will just never be the same. No. I mean, there's no way he's sober, like, ever. It's crazy. Five a day? You're not popping that all at once. Yeah, no, no. Absolutely not. Yeah. Just always zanned out. You know who else does five bars a day? Who? SoundCloud rappers. I don't get it. Bars? No. Like, oh, God damn it. Oh! <laughs> oh, damn. That was horrible. Damn. Uh, Uncle Noel back hmm. in the house. <laughs> you know who else does five bars a day? Um, My son, who aspires to be a rapper... <laughs> <laughs> I've seen too many videos of uh, kids in their basements rapping a lot. Like, what do you mean? It's just too many, like, you know, this fucking, yo, I'm about to kill a rap game. Check it. Feminine, feminine, awesome, and feminine, feminine. Did you see that shit? Yeah, Casey yeah, Frank yeah, shit. Yeah, All yeah, men exactly. are friends. <laughs> yeah, ex exactly that. Exactly that. Yeah, the shoot. <laughs> that shit was so fucking funny, dude. I FaceTimed Brian, Rich yeah, Brian, and yeah. he just performed that on FaceTime and we nailed it to a T, dude. To a T. It was so funny. Yeah, dude. I've been Femin seeing... Femin off, Femin a shimmin' a feminine enema, giving an enema. Giving an enema. <laughs> All men are friends. <laughs> I was seeing too much of that shit on Twitter, man. It's so corny. It's so corny. <laughs> it's like... Dude, dude, did you watch fucking Drew Gooden's video on the, uh, the uh, music Musical.ly kids? I started, but then... You got to watch that whole thing. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. is one of the best videos I've ever seen, legitimately. Well, I started watching it before our uh, weekend extravaganza. And okay, then, okay, yeah. yeah. We'll talk about that in a yeah, second, yeah. but... Um, the fucking... How insane is it that kids are now lip-syncing movie scenes and think that it's acting? yeah. How crazy is that? I yeah. wanted to punch the youth yeah. in the face. Yeah. Not literally, of course. You know, I never punch a kid in the face oh, unless he deserved it. Oh, chill out, dude. What? Chill out, man. I'm just saying, if the kid's being fucking annoying. <laughs> you hit kids, bro? I mean, I don't like, I've never done it. But you've thought about it. I'm just saying, dude, if a kid's like being a little dick, <laughs> beat him off. No, no, dude, not like that. What? You said hit a kid if he's being annoying. <laughs> Beat him off. I'm just saying, dude, I'm not, like, I'm not, I would never punch a baby. No, but I feel se. you. Per se. Per se. But if they're crying on a plane. <laughs> no, that was my phone. Okay. I don't understand that. Oh, go what on, the go fuck on. was I even saying? Uh, mus musically kids. Yeah. yeah. they're acting. Yeah. Because they're doing lines from movies. Yeah, so these kids have actor in their bio. Which is crazy. And they're like. Like they're, and dude, it, mm. it goes so many levels deep. I don't even know what to fucking say about it. Yeah, because the way the music like camera works, you don't film in real time. You film in slow motion, then it speeds it up to real time. Right. That's how they get that like weird yeah effect. Effect. Yeah. So they're filming these movie scenes in slow motion. <laughs> they're acting. They're acting in slow motion, and then they're not even. It's not even their voice. Yeah. It's someone else's fucking. Yeah. That's so weird. Yeah. And these kids think they're actors, and they're moving to LA to act. And it's yeah. like, oh my god, you're in a you're in for a rude Re awakening, real tough awakening. You could maybe do Japanese karate movies because uh, they dub all of those over. So yeah. that yeah. that maybe could be something that yeah. you could do. But maybe no, you're gonna have to use your own voice for a lot of this shit. I'm just imagining a musically kid walking into an audition. <laughs> yeah, that's hi, hi. I'm reading for the role of. Mm -hmm. uh. <laughs> Like, get the fuck out of here. Dude, that's that's the sketch in the middle of the video. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He like walks in and like does it. And he's like, I'm gonna I'm gonna be performing um oh what is it? It's so funny. It's like some Oh, I mean I'll watch it. Yeah, yeah, watch it. It's yeah. great. 
Yeah. But that that blew my mind that that is happening right now. Musically is like some fucking cancer, dude. Yeah, it's toxic. I think it's bad. Someone linked me. A it's bit. dying, anyways. Is it? Yeah, they're paying. They're paying like their top people like so much money to post. As soon as that happens, as soon as you pay people to post, yeah, it's over. It's over. Yeah, you know, you're just down the tubes. Yeah, some people are fucking caked off musically. It's crazy. Yeah, they made their money for sure, but like, yeah, they're gonna. They're I feel out. like now it's kind of yeah, it's done. So you go in the ways of going the way of Vine. Rip. Do you hear about Facebook? Fucking Facebook stock plummeted yesterday because nah. they posted their first. <laughs> like, like, dude, they're they're getting crushed. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, st- static growth in Canada and the U.S. decline ten percent declining user base in oof, Europe. Ooh, like it's like yeah, it's on the way up. Yeah, rip crazy. Where is all that fuck? Oh man, that's crazy. Instagram's got to still be growing like crazy. And Instagram's definitely growing. Instagram won't go <laughs> away, but the the Facebook. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, like Dunzo. Like I said, with the pay to post shit. I like I don't I don't really feel like IGTV is working. It's not. And they pay people they paid people to post. Yeah. No, I mean that w- it will be cool for maybe actually it's not cool anymore. No one's using it. I've never I haven't, I haven't clicked on it since the day that it came out. Yeah. Why the fuck would you? Ver- but maybe people are using it. I don't know. Doubt it. I fucking doubt it, bro. I don't know. Anyways, where are we at? Oh, okay. <laughs> so, guys, <clears throat> wait, 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 we need to, we need to intro this a little bit better. Okay, because when we edit this shit, it just seems very awkward. Okay, okay. Um, so for our Patreon folks, we're gonna do a little read for the folks on the tube. Mm-hmm. Um, and we're gonna skip it now. <laughs> Good shit. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, I want to take this opportunity to say that this episode is sponsored by. Vincero watches. Thank big shout out Vincero. Big shout out Vincero. They yeah. were the people that sponsored our. That it was our very first ad read was Vincero watches. Yeah, and and they continue. They support the show, man. I know, and so we support Vincero, them. Yeah. We're wearing one right now. Yeah. Both of us. Yeah, Look bit. at how fucking stylish this is, dog. Yeah. Look at this shit. It's crispy. <laughs> I got a compliment on the way here. Yeah. Uh, is that a timepiece? It's a timepiece. It's a, a time luxury timepiece, time yeah. actually. Yeah. So Vincero, their mission is to create compelling luxury timepieces mm-hmm. with impeccable craftsmanship and to inspire as many people as possible to elevate their game and ultimately live their legacy because you want to leave a legacy. Yeah. Frankly, you do. Yeah. And it's a, you want to leave a style legacy, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. Or anything, anything legacy. Yep. Maybe League of League of Legends. <laughs> League of... <laughs> League, League of, of Legacy. Legacies. League of Legacy, yeah. Their goal is to inspire as many people as possible to elevate their game and ultimately live their legacy, which is what I just said. Yeah, nice. <laughs> and uh, they learn that luxury is a process, you know? It's it not time. about specs. It's not about price. It's not a marketing term to be thrown around. It's about attention to detail, a step-by-step process to craft every product. It's the process that separates us from the competition, and it's a belief that you deserve the best. Yeah, yeah. You deserve to look good, man. Mm-hmm. And, and get you something classy, not exactly. just uh just a, uh, you know, little 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 minimal, little off the shelf, little yeah. chunk of roux. Not a minimal, minimal watch right here. They're not a minimal design company. No, they're not because that that is out. Um, and they look great. All right, and if you want to get one at fifteen percent off, yeah, you can go to vincerowatches dot com slash tiny meat seven and enter the promo code tiny meat. To get fifteen percent off your entire order, Where that's else? a little bit weird of a URL. Yeah, Tiny, tiny Meat 07. Well, hey, uh, six other people use the Tiny Meat yeah, URL. Like, ah, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, sorry, we got six other podcasts called Man, tiny, tiny Meat, meat or like their variations of Tiny Meat, and so we've used those ones. Where else are you gonna get a discount on a watch by typing Tiny Meat? You know what I mean, 07. Yeah, Tiny Meat two thousand and seven. <laughs> Uh, Welcome back to the tiny man. Anyway, uh, continue. Yeah. So what's, no, that's basically all I had to say. Vincero. What? They're actually super dope. I like it a lot. Yeah. Uh, what's the What's the link again? One more time. Vincero. That's V I N C E R O Watches dot com slash Tiny Meat O Seven. And then you got to enter the promo code Tiny Meat. Yeah. So there you go. Get yourself one. All right. Distinct look and quality feel, and you know they're bold luxury timepieces. No, honestly, the. The two they sent us right here, um, these things are fire. Uh, I, I fuck with these. Very uh, very classy pieces. <laughs> and I guess while we're on the topic of luxury, 
and uh, boldness. <laughs> oh, yeah. And um, um, let's talk about Vegas. Yeah. So a lot. We've got a lot of questions. Oh, what? What did you guys do in Vegas? And more importantly, how do you know Post Malone? lyrics just front to back that's just <laughs> yeah. so crazy how you perform that um we were uh we we were humbled by the uh the, the boy post reached out to us and he was like you want to take a little trip and we were like yeah we'd love to yeah and he invited like, us to for vegas. a little trip so we went to vegas and we, we actually supposed to go on wednesday yeah we were with we were with them on we were with them on tuesday as you heard yeah on the episode then he was like do you want to go to vegas tomorrow and we were all calling we were kind of like well yeah, yeah, I guess we're gonna have yeah, to. So let's do it. Why not? Fuck I mean, it. there's no have to with Vegas. I mean, you just say it, and I'm just like, yeah. that's what I'm. That's what I'm saying. It's yeah. kind of like, well, now that this is a real thing, like now that Vegas, now that we have two other people that are contemplating going to Vegas, yeah, now we kind of have. Yeah, to. we kind of have to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Three's the minimum. Yeah, if exactly. it's you and the boy, so it's a little spec. Yeah, it's like uh, maybe not. But mm-hmm. if a third person's like, yeah, I'm down. Boom. Uh, yeah, like sign me, sign me up. Mm-hmm. So we uh, we went to Vegas. Then I was filming on Wednesday or whatever, Thursday. Sorry. No yawning on podcast. Jesus Christ. What's wrong with you? Stay in it. Idiot. Fucking moron. Um, and uh, Cody had to tap out early on the on the plane or like on the trip, though, because he got a huge case of Ligma. What? What's Ligma? Ligma love and support, dog. <laughs> Oh, I got owned. Wrecked, brother. Holy shit. Wrecked, brother. No, nah, so, so um Yo. Did you, were you telling me you, you had an uncle or something that had Garglema? What's Gargleman? Oh, right. Gargle my fucking balls, dog. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're gonna beat this joke to death. <laughs> it's not even a joke anymore. Yeah, it's not. It's, it's not. not. It's a threat. Mm-hmm. It's a threat, yeah. It's a threat. Yo, so why don't you ligma? Why don't you ligma, dog? Yeah. <laughs> um, so I'm trying to think what really we could talk about from the trip. It was fun, man. We took a fucking private jet there. First private jet I've ever been on. Yeah. Yeah. Which was crazy. Yeah. You know, private jets are nuts, dude. You well, first one besides that one. I told that story on the podcast one time of the of the uh, Mexico trip. Yeah. But that was like really small. That yeah. was like a four person private. It was the smallest private jet you can fly, which sure. doesn't really count as like, a, you know, when you think about going to Vegas on a yeah, private on jet, a private it's like champagne, jet. flight attendant. Yeah. That was this. Yeah. Drove yeah. straight up to the airport, parked the car, walked on the plane, boom, take off. So 40 tight. minute flight. There's a flight attendant just giving a champagne. We're listening to music. <laughs> I'm drinking, uh, te- I'm drinking a tequila sunrise and eating hot Cheetos. Yeah. Sounds gross. It was, it, but I loved every second of it. Yeah. It was a weird combo. Yeah, exactly. But I got properly sauced. You got sauced. You were on the, you were off the sauce this weekend. Yeah. You were yeah. off the sauce. I was off it. I um, was off it. And so was I. We were drinking, for some reason, that theme just with orange juice is carried on the oh, entire th- weekend. The we entire were drinking weekend. screwdrivers the whole fucking <laughs> weekend. I've never drank as much orange juice as I have in yeah. two days. Yeah. We're vitamin C'd up. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> hey, do do blood say vitamin C? Or vitamin B? The, I'll tell you that You're vitamin not... B, homie. So like vitamin B or vitamin B? Vitamin B, homie. Oh, uh, okay, cool. Yeah, the second one. <laughs> vitamin B2. No, see, there's a... <laughs> there's an actual there's, B2. There's also B... <laughs> I, vitamin B3 and shit. Yeah. Um, yeah, so uh, I'm trying and to... we landed, we just... Started gambling right away. Mm-hmm. We gambled that's, a lot. It was fucking I was, awesome. I was definitely left down, but not <laughs> as down. Yeah. I was like, basically, it was one of those trips where you'd sit down and get killed every single time. Yeah. Yeah, you got murdered. Murdered. Like, every <laughs> single time I sat down, it was just like, <laughs> dealer, blackjack, 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 yeah. dealer, just Crushed. fucking. And I'm like, like, what the fuck? Yeah. Money just evaporates before my eyes. Yeah. And like. 30 seconds and you know <laughs> we uh i wanted to play poker but then we cruised by that poker room and i was like nope why there are so many fucking pros in there oh yeah and the thing is dude poker rooms are like you ever been in one no never they they're walk by them but they're as stale as a library and all you hear is just like the poker chips clinking just like mm. the, it's like this weird like setting and 
you know, I always think like, oh, it'd be fun if like we all went and played poker. Like I always want to play poker as like a social thing, but I'm glad we didn't because it's not fun at all. Yeah. Is it not social at all in Vegas? Like no. blackjack is social. No, this is the most social poker gets. Nice raise. Yeah, it's nice. <laughs> That's after four hours of playing next to the guy and you haven't talked to him all day. And then he just makes one play and you're like, I got to do something. Like, I'm going to blow my fucking brains out. So you're like, nice hand. He goes, thanks, yeah. Yeah, I won a tournament uh, a couple years ago with that one. Nice, nice. Play tournaments often? He's like, shut the fuck up. We're done. Yeah, right, right, right. Sorry, sorry. We're done. Yeah. I got really social one time and I some guy got really mad at me. No way. Yeah. I was playing a commerce casino. This guy got so pissed at me. We're playing. They have like this crazy table set of where it's one, two, no limit, $40 buy-ins. Mm -hmm. So you have like serial gamblers there mm -hmm. like that are, are playing with the last of their bank account. Ugh. These are fucking weird characters. And so me and my buddy at the time, like we're just laughing because it's like, they're, it's like you could go all in and it's just funny <sighs> because it's 40 bucks. Yeah. So we're like kind of laughing, like making jokes and then, this guy, like, I don't know what he was. He was just like, please, stop talking. And we're like, what, bro? He's like, this is my mortgage. Yeah, I'm yeah, gambling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like in. freaking out. He's like, pay attention to the game. <laughs> and we're like, nah, son, we're going to keep. we are. We're winning. Yeah, yeah. No, and then we got, like, aggressive. We're like, nah, bro, we're going we're gonna to keep talking. I think we're fine. <laughs> no <laughs> you way. You scooting really? away? <laughs> well, no, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to manspread a little bit. Yeah, but, a little bit. Yeah. So. On that room. Yeah, we're like, we tell him, like, nah, we're going to keep talking, bro. And he's like, he's getting mad. And, like, we're in the same hand. So, like, I, like, put in 20 bucks and he wins the hand. And he, like, throws his cards down. And he's like, that's why you don't talk. You don't pay attention to the game. I'm like, I look at him. I'm like, yo, that's 60 bucks, homie. Like, <laughs> take that shit. You need it. And then, <laughs> and then he get, like, I offended him. And he's like, he starts, like, talking shit to me. And I was like, get the fuck out of my face, bro. I was like, I will clown you right now. Get the fuck out of my face. Then my boy stands up and he's like, if you don't bounce right now, I'm going to knock you out. And the security Wait, really? Yeah, we, we he were going to get a fight. Yeah, yeah. We Damn. were going to, because he just, like, he kept screaming at us. Jesus. And we Christ. were just casually talking to each other. So then the security comes over and, you know, it's easy to make a threat in a casino because you can't do shit. Yeah. <laughs> so obviously I'm talking mad shit to him. Then we go outside and I'm like, hey, listen, man, I'm sorry. No, no, I'm joking. Oh. <laughs> the security like broke up the table. Really? Yeah, because, like, he was being too rowdy. But then, like, uh, some other dude was like, yeah, I see this guy a lot. He can't keep it together. I'm like, all right, so this fool's just here just picking Shh. fights with people and shit. Damn, that's sad. Yeah. That's so. fucking sad. But at Vegas, no. It's all uh, serious. That's crazy, man. Yeah. That's why I like blackjack, because it's like you can talk to people and yeah. it's fun. Yeah, blackjack's way fun. Yeah. If you never get drinking, getting drunk, people yeah. are sitting down, like... Sat down beside this uh, this uh, Asian fellow, um, very nice guy. I don't know why it's relevant that he's Asian, but um. oh, are you? Oh, you're Asianist. Okay, <laughs> all right, go ahead, go ahead, bud. No, love the guy, great dude. Yeah, he uh, yeah. <clears throat> was a trader or something. Oh yeah, no, that guy was Vegas. Cool. Yeah, real cool. great day trader, Good dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we both started winning at the same time. You started losing. Oh, I was getting nailed. It was Noel, me, and then this dude, and all of a sudden, me and him just started. Just we're on a hot streak. It was like I was eating all the Noel, shit cards. Yeah. Basically, Noah yeah. would get like a four, and then yeah. and then it would be like ten ace. And we'd <laughs> I be like, damn! I started playing two hands at a time just to break even. Yeah. Every time I played two hands at a time, I would break even. Really? Yeah. But if I played a single, I would lose. Hmm. It was crazy. So, um, yeah, because uh, I think I don't think a lot of people who listen to the podcast gamble. If you don't gamble and you're thinking you, you want to have fun, blackjack's the way to do it. <laughs> if you don't gamble and you want to do it, yeah. If you think about it, it, if do you want to throw money away, yeah, do it. yeah. You ever get sad when you like you see the numbers on like the sides of the ATM? <laughs> what? It's like you never seen that? No. Like, you go up to the ATM. Well, Vegas doesn't have this because they don't care about you. But like Indian casinos have that. There's okay. like a number that's like when you go to the ATM, it's like, are you down? Are you having trouble walking oh, away? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Call this number. Yeah, yeah. gambling prevention yeah. hotline or whatever. <laughs> yeah. I want to call in. I want to call in and just ask them how many people actually call this. I bet you a lot, dude. You think? Yes. You think? Yes. I feel like that's one of those that guy gets like one call a day. No. I bet you that they get a ton of people. Just some brutal I mean, ass calls. Probably, yeah. 
Oh, bud. Okay. Oh, it's like that screenshot I sent you. Did you see that shit? What? Oh, yeah, yeah. One point. Yeah. Yeah. Say, say what that was. This is Reddit post. It's in the finance subreddit. And just the title of the post is 1.5 million in debt. And the first five words are, so I've been trading cryptocurrency. Yeah. <laughs> Did you screenshot that? No. Uh, uh, Siva sent me uh, that shit. That was a great screenshot. So good. Rip. Damn. 1.5 milli, Ooh. dude. In debt? Yeah. Sick. How are you ever going to come back from that? So sick. You can't. You can't. You're just going to be in debt your whole life. You're fucked. Absolutely fucked. Yes. Yeah, no, so. you can. You can. There is hope. There is hope. That's what this number is for, dude. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. There so, is hope. So all right? call this number. Yeah. I want to thank our other sponsor on the podcast. <laughs> yeah, Gambling Prevention Hotline. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, bro. dude. People get fucking in deep. Yeah. People get in deep. I I mean, like with a game like blackjack, I can see it, especially because mm-hmm. it goes so fast. Poker is like, if poker is actually, it takes a long time to lose your money, depending mm-hmm. what type of player you are. But it normally it does, mm-hmm. you know, unless like you're shoving $600 every hand. Thing. Yeah. But, oh man, like even after I lost a little bit on blackjack and I pulled some more, I was like, oh wait, shit, I'm kind of like. <laughs> I'm kind of like put a lot on the table here. Oh, yeah, yeah. I ended up all yeah. right, but it's just like it can go like quick. Like that, yeah. It's and then crazy. You're standing from the ATM crying and, yeah. And, you know, yeah. balance <laughs> limit exceeded or whatever. Dude, withdrawal I'm draw limit exceeded. God damn it. And then you're calling your bank and you're having them move it up. And they're like, sir, you're in the negative. And you're like, I don't give a fuck. Okay. All right. Give me more. I need some cash. I need, I need to win this shit back. Something, please. Yeah, dude. Uh, so we we gambled and then we went to fucking a nightclub and the Migos were playing and they dropped <laughs> posts right up on stage and dapped them up and all that shit and we were just like, yeah, I don't know at what's that, real at, anymore. At that um, point, I had like I had hit like that fucking crater where like I drank too much, yeah. but I was still conscious. We didn't eat. We didn't eat at That's all. That's what it was. Yeah, we drank from the time we got on the plane <laughs> for like six hours afterwards, <laughs> and by the time we got to the then we went to the after hours. Club. Oh yeah, yeah. And we're yeah. just, I'm sitting there and I'm like looking around and I'm just, everything's <laughs> double. And I'm like, oh my God, I wish I could enjoy this right now, but you, I just can't. Yeah, you looked lasered. Yeah, yeah. You looked lasered. And yeah. I like, I did the fucking, the the most dad thing I could do at the after hours club. The cocktail waitress comes over. She's like, hey guy, what, what would you like to drink? And I'm like, do you have a bottle of water? <laughs> I am extremely thirsty. A bottle of water and uh, some club soda. If club you soda wouldn't mind, my awesome. girlfriend spilled a little cranberry juice on her, on oh, her my, blouse. I would love to just rub it off. Yeah. A little <laughs> Alka-Seltzer if, if, if you have one. Just one or two tabs. That'd be awesome. And a clean glass. Can I get a Pepto-Bismol? Mm-hmm. Wait. Do you have Tums? <laughs> a little bit of heartburn. I just had, I had a single vodka about yeah, four like hours ago. Vegas, you know, I had one of those crazy big margaritas. And yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do they call them? A fat Saturday? Yeah. And uh, sheesh. Yeah. And oh, man, it's just come back to haunt me. So. <laughs> you ever had a fat Tuesday? Yeah. The big old. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. like, like, like the ones in Vegas that are like 10 feet long. Yeah. Like that go down to your feet. Yeah. We and, bought one of those for like a video one time or for a vine oh, yeah, or no, something. I think I remember that. Yeah. I, I've never done the one to the feet. Yeah. They're like 80 bucks or something. Absurd. Yeah. That's why I've never. But there's like 90 shots in there. So it's yeah. like you definitely get some sort of value. And plus you come away with a dope ass mug. Yeah. Too that you can use. I use that thing around my house all the time. Yeah. The la- <laughs> yeah. Fill it up just, with coffee just, in the morning. It's just a 90 foot tube with coffee. <laughs> Six liters of it's coffee. a fucking didgeridoo full of coffee. <laughs> <laughs> just like walking around with that thing. Putting it in your car. <laughs> oh, getting out of your sh- car with it. And like it's like you're using that in the office or something, yeah. No, like you're yeah, just yeah. walking around your corporate job with a fucking Dude, fat someone Tuesday bomb. Definitely does that, <laughs> like the cool boss, yeah. you know. It's Friday. It's Crazy Mug Friday, everyone. <laughs> no, <laughs> the only one doing it actually fills it with alcohol. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, this shit's making so much money. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. At a tech startup, he just goes to the craft beer tap and just fills up the whole thing. <laughs> Working at a startup is, or like. Tech companies out here are funny because yeah. that's Friday. That's Friday at eleven. Oh yeah, everyone's Dude's hitting getting the beer tab. Yerked. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, dude. Remember uh, at full screen, the homie Paul would put in that fucking nitro brew coffee mm-hmm. into the second beer tab. Oh yeah, that shit was strong. People would hit that on accident. Yeah, like I, I just. Like- they just fill a cup of it and then just like smash it and be like, "Oh, this coffee's kind of weird." But he was telling me a few people like. Still didn't get that it was coffee. 
Like they just thought it was like funky, like coffee flavor. So they pounded like half a cup and they go up to him like, hey, why do I feel like I'm going to die? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, you need like, when he was giving me a tour of the office, he's like, you need like that much and then fill the rest with water. <laughs> yeah. Like well, there shouldn't be here. And I like, I did that one time. I drank like half a cup because it tastes really good. <laughs> And also, it's like, what is? What are these weed gummies? What are these weird proportions? You yeah. need this much? Just make coffee where you can drink this much. Yeah. I don't want to mix my own shit. Like, yeah. that's your fucking job. Yeah. What is this proportion? Yeah, and you only need a, about two ounces much. of this shit or else it's going to kill, kill you. Yeah. Well, it's like, what? I drank like half a cup one time and I'm sitting at my desk like, <laughs> trying to type. <laughs> I f- for me, coffee only ever works for the first 30 minutes. Then yeah, everything yeah. after that is just like, my heart is fucking racing. I'm yeah. sweating. Yeah, yeah, no. It's like, I feel good. And then I take a shit. And then I sit at my desk. And I'm like, oh, no, now yeah. I feel like shit. Yeah, yeah. Now the anxiety yeah, happens. Yeah. yeah. And time to die. Yeah. Um, well, speaking of which, you fucking forgot to get me coffee. Yeah, I know. I knew it was going to happen. Yeah. I knew well, no, it. actually, they didn't have it. So I just didn't get you. You just, okay. So I, I <laughs> okay, see. Yeah. You just didn't even bother to tell me. You just kind of, that's all. It's fine. <laughs> oh, no, it's fine. That's, I could have picked some up on the way, but it's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where, totally where are we at? Because I want to plug in a little. Uh... 50 minutes, dog. Oh, bro. Can you can you pop a P again? Try and get my headphones right. Um, p- Do it again. Pussy palladium. People pushing. You yeah, got it? yeah, yeah. People pushing push pops. Yeah, yeah, it's good. Pushing push pops. Pops pumping on a <laughs> pussy Popeye's chicken. <laughs> what was the chicken that we had in Vegas? Oh, Kane's chicken. Bruh. Yeah, no, no. This is, I think, the best part. This is the funniest part. A post lovely guy that he is, he starts suggesting restaurants in the in in the casino. He's like, yo, we should go here. And these are nice restaurants. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, totally. And then I'm like, oh, they're not open. Then he just goes, how do you guys, do you guys like Canes? And I'm like, I fucking love Canes. <laughs> I just give him like the crackhead stare. He's like, cool. And he orders like 10 buckets of this shit. Yeah. When that shit arrived. Bro. Yeah. Bro, that sauce. The sauce. Dude, that sauce. Sauce. That was insane. Yeah. Everyone who probably like. Cum lives, sauce. Yeah. Cum. For sure. Everyone who lives near Canes is probably like, really? Okay. But we don't have that here. Is it only in Vegas? Uh, f- oh, that's the closest one to us. Really? Yeah. And then what? It's a South, Maybe East Coast thing? East Coast thing. I don't yeah, know. But I never had it when I was on the East Coast. Yeah, Raising Cane's. Huh. Oh, Dude, bro. so they have this fucking special sauce. Every chicken place, every dope, every dopest place on earth on earth has their own like secret yeah. sauce. Yeah, of course. You know? Yeah. Their shit was fucking phenomenal. Dude, yeah. that shit was cracked. Dude, in the back. So I'm just whipping up the goob. Yeah, goob sauce. Yeah. Just whipping up the goob sauce for all the chicken, and uh, it's going to be excellent. By the way, we've started using cum as like a word to describe things as good. Yeah. Yeah, this shit's cum. Yeah, so the chicken was super cum. Yeah. Super cum. Yeah. Shit was super cum. I think we should make a song called Super Cum. Yeah. Yeah. Just a remix of Super Zan, but it's super cum. Super cum. Or I'm thinking more like... Like you're like you're really good, like really potent cum. Like you're, oh, got it. Oh you yeah, know? yeah. Strong seed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like yeah. really good at making people pregnant. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you want a condom on? I, you know, super you can give cum. people condom on. You can get them pregnant with the condom yeah, on. Super cum. Think about it. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Think about it. You just so, you just not near right? anything and it gets pregnant. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's, it spreads like like through the air. <laughs> green cum. Yeah, green cum. Yeah. yeah. Hey, why do you have an STD? No, <laughs> super cum. It's best is cum. Yeah, maybe there's just nothing there. No? No. I'm, I'm just helping you there. work through it, man. I'm just trying to tag up your premise. Yeah, no, I appreciate it. I appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. I think there's, you know, a little potential. Yeah, because that premise sucks ass. I'll come back tomorrow, <laughs> dude. I wrote 64 <laughs> bars about super Oh, shit. Com. Okay, here we go. Uh, I was freestyling a bunch on stream yesterday. Were you? Yeah. How'd it go? It's fine. I only do like four bars, and then I just like laugh it off. <laughs> yeah. Like, I don't keep it going. But yeah, it was fun. IRL streaming is the shit. Fuck games. So did you did you just hang out yesterday or did you play Fortnite? I played Fortnite for like the second half. Okay. Yeah, got a pretty sick dub. Did he really? Yeah, pretty that's sick. sick. Dude, that's sick. I was getting the P90. Yeah, that's not, that's not. Oh, that's yeah. Not, that's okay. not, that's okay. not, People that's get not. fucking pissed when we talk about Fortnite. No, but no, no, no. What I want to do. It's really all I think about now, so. <laughs> it's just like all that's on my mind. Mm-hmm. No, what I want to do is, um, uh, and the pop. Okay. What I want to do is play this shit. It's old, and I'm sure people have heard of it, but God damn it. I, I had it. It can get dark. Are starting to use some as a secret code that we as parents. 
So this is like some news. We cast. talked about this last time. We didn't. We never ended up playing it. Uh, okay. 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 Yeah. So I'm pretty sure some of you have seen this, but it's like this newscaster talking or like anchor man talking about fucking emojis as like codes like okay. that kids use. Parents can't necessarily figure out. Often it's a combination of emojis, like a face with a zipper along with a couple. This could mean don't tell your parents what we're going to do. <laughs> What? Don't tell your parents you're going to suck my f- dick so bad right now. <laughs> do not tell your parents. <laughs> do not tell do not tell your parents that I have ligma. Yeah. Do not tell your parents that I just absolutely crushed that pussy, <laughs> that I tapped that ass. <laughs> do not tell your parents that I popped it for a real one, please. If it's a fox, just a simple fox emoji, that can mean... Let's- You're a furry. Yeah, that's what it is, definitely. <laughs> that's a, the fucking shit is so good. Go what is it? Sneak out of the house. Sneak now, out. They can get darker as well. A skull, arrow, and a flame. Means, that wait, someone- you're about to fucking fire in the booth, homie. You're yeah, about to yeah, go skull, off. arrow, flame. Bro, I'm dead. That was hot. <laughs> shit was flames, my G. <laughs> What does he say? Saying to someone, I hope you die in In a fire? What the (laughs) fuck? What the fuck? Dude, that's fucking morbid as fuck. Who has ever said that to somebody? This is so awesome. I'm going to start. What high schooler has ever said, I hope you die in a fire? I'm texting this to Alina right now. Fucking decode this shit, girl. Hope you die in a fire one time. (laughs) <laughs> fire now as parents she's like you want barbecue for yeah, dinner I don't understand no bitch I hope you die in a fire. fire you fucking uh these we have no idea but this can obviously lead to cyber bullying and cyber experts oh hell yeah dude oh wait no this is the best part say predators online may use some of these codes as a way to begin <laughs> communication with young people and they yeah that's how you that's how you that's how you uh, proposition proposition youngins. You gotta yeah. use emojis, yeah. little pictures. Yeah, yeah. So love little, little pictures, little, like, like stickers. Little, little secret, little secret sign there. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Hey there, bud. Hey there. Hey there, bud. I'm one six, like the one six emoji. Uh, I'm sixteen. I'm ooh. a teen. Oh, what about you? Uh, how about a little uh, cheeky moon emoji? <laughs> Looking off to the side. You know what they say about emojis. That's how you get in with the kids. <laughs> I get older. The and emojis. They add more emojis. <laughs> that I can use. <laughs> to seduce young to people. To seduce young people. <laughs> oh, shit. Cre- just creepy, creepy Matthew McConaughey. <laughs> I love all these emojis that I could use to uh, lure young boys into my house. <laughs> I get older. And the emojis get, get better, better and better and better. <laughs> they keep adding new ones. You know, when I started, <laughs> it just took a little moon, a little moon off to the side. <laughs> Shit's more complex, but it's more beautiful that way. <laughs> now I can get colorful with the emojis. And there's a code. There's a code. Butt play. <laughs> feet play. Tummy play. I can lay it all out on the line. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> Starting to creep me out now. You Wait. kids, you want to look at their phones and talk to them about some of this stuff. Again, some of the most basic apps can have secret meanings, so we're putting Matt Lorch to the test. Some here. of the For some you. of the most basic apps can have, can have secret, secret meanings. meanings. Some of the uh. most basic apps can have secret meanings. All right, son, explain to me reminders. <laughs> What's really going on in there? What is this stocks app? Huh? What do these mean? These what you, lines. What do you mean by weather? What's like, the I don't know. Way? You're on your phone. I don't use stocks. <laughs> Instance, if I text you a flower, what would you think? That's a hibiscus flower. I don't know if that makes a difference. <laughs> That's a hibiscus flower. I don't know if that makes a difference. fucking <laughs> funny. Oh my god! Do that again. <laughs> That's a hibiscus flower. I don't even know if that makes a difference. Now, Steve, <laughs> that's high, nasally as fuck. That's a hibiscus flower. <laughs> that's a hibiscus flower. I don't, bruh. Yeah. Is that yeah, even? dude? The kids are sending each other hibiscus flowers for sure. Because it means, uh, hey, you want to get high yeah. and eat biscuits, Skits, bitch. Wait, I have no idea what that would. Be. This could mean drugs. <laughs> oh, you nailed it, brother. Hey, you nailed it. Nice job. Damn. 
That's I fucking I should do this shit. Yo, are you decoding emojis? Jeez. <laughs> Or uh, really? let's get some drugs. Yeah, let's take a look what? at another one. Let's get some drugs. You know, you know, I wish it was that easy. Yeah. I actually wish it was yeah, that yeah, easy. Just, just, just send, send your a plug a flower and he's like, yeah. I'll be there at eight. Yeah. Like sick. Sick. Dope. Sauce. <laughs> Sauce, dude. Well, that's a hibiscus flower. <laughs> one here. Wait. Uh, just a frog. Oh, wow. That actually looks like a garden tree frog <laughs> there. I don't know if that makes a difference. <laughs> Mm, hop on over to my place. <laughs> That's actually pretty good. <laughs> That'd be fucking lit. If I could just send a frog. That to... would be mad lit. Yeah. See you. See you soon. Yeah. Mad lit. Hop, son. Yeah. Hop on this. Hop on my dick. Hop on a. Hop on my. Hop on my. Huh? Hop, hop on, on my. Hop on my what? Hop on my dick. Oh damn it! Got him. That's a good guess. It could be that, but to some kids and their codes, this could mean you're ugly. I'm. T- <laughs> <laughs> you look like a frog. <laughs> Yo, someone try to bully me with a frog emoji. <laughs> try you it. You get bullied with emojis. Uh, you're you a pussy. You kind of deserve yeah, it. Yeah, you're an absolute <laughs> puss bag. You should be able to fight back. You should be able to fight back. <laughs> Come on. They're the picture. They're little, <laughs> little pic- stickers. Cute little stickers. Yeah. You can't get bullied with stickers. Yeah, but a, a frog emoji roast this kind of deep because it's like, bitch, you ain't got no nose. Yeah. You got big ass eyes, yeah. son. And that's the T. That's the T. If I sis. do say so myself. That's mad tea, my sis. Yeah. <laughs> so that's shitty tweet is cracking up. People are like, you're old, you're old. I'm like, it's purposely shitty. Yeah. Suck my ass. Telling you you're ugly by using this frog in a of frog. So a bowling type yeah, of yeah. text. And then the eyes. I'm watching you. I'm outside your place watching, watching you right that now. That could be one. Yeah. All right, this creep. Getting into the sexting area. This <laughs> Dude, this is ridiculous. <laughs> This, this is guy, getting this into the sexting area. <laughs> no, the other guy. Yeah. Uh, I'm watching you. I'm outside of your house watching you. Okay, buddy. <laughs> okay, well, chill, well, man. Chill what the fuck, fuck out, you <laughs> fucking weirdo? <laughs> I mean, he just uh, keeps a hibiscus <laughs> flower. <laughs> you just keep, I'm watching you. I know where you live. <laughs> I'm outside of your place. I'm watching you get undressed. Yes, I know your favorite. I know uh, how many pairs of underwear you own. Mm-hmm. Jesus, Mark, what the fuck is wrong yeah, with you? Yeah, she went with the purple ones today. That means it's Wednesday. <laughs> oh, Mark, what the fuck? I have my eye on you, and if you don't <laughs> get with me, I'll kill your parents. Something <laughs> like that. He's like, that's exactly right. <laughs> it can also mean send me pictures of you naked. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh Please. my God! Getting into the sexting area. This can also time. mean send me pictures of you naked. Oh my God! And again, cons- <laughs> oh, he's like, he oh my gosh! It. He loves it. He's like, oh my God! He said that like fucking I think Patrick. He said, oh my ba- gosh! Did he? he? He probably did. But he sounded like Patrick Bateman. Let's hear that one more time. It can also mean send me pictures of you naked. Oh my God! And again, yeah, that was creepy as fuck, right oh there. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Gosh. Subtle off white coloring. <laughs> Raised lettering. <laughs> Jesus. Holy crud. Holy crud. Holy crud. I'm gonna spawn. <laughs> oh my crud. <laughs> Dude, I I gotta be honest, man. Every comment I read about the porn noises yeah. makes me wanna do it more. Oh yeah. Every every time I see one of you guys go, oh my god, I can't believe you guys did that again, and I'm unsubscribing. Yeah. It's too funny. It just makes me want to do it. (laughs) (laughs) Just the fucking dude. Someone on my video yesterday, they were like, uh, I was washing my hands and you were doing those noises and there was nothing I could do. There's nothing I could do. And now my brother thinks I'm watching porn. <laughs> Just that thought. That fucking thought. Oh, my God. It's like, it's like, who watches or who listens to a fucking podcast out loud? That's I'm, one of the things. Every, I've never uh, done that. Well, because you know? Maybe because we... No, I've just always been like a ear pod. Uh, cleaning the house. Like, I'd do that. Just, really? Yeah, just let a podcast play. And oh, fucking man. Maybe, I'm, some, man, maybe, maybe I'm just weird, but I've never done that. I've, it always feels weird listening to a voice out loud. <laughs> just it's like out loud music. House. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, I don't I don't think it's that bad. Okay. It's funny now because enough people listen to this where like that <clears throat> you can pretty much guarantee someone just got fired. <laughs> <laughs> Which I guess isn't that funny, but it, no, it's not. Yeah. Um but I think no, I think at this point everyone knows. I feel bad for new listeners. Yeah. 
Like yeah, the, yeah. we got to like the this porn is the very part. First episode. And they just turned it down a little bit. They're like, okay, okay, it's safe. Yeah, okay, yeah, okay, it's fine. Yeah. It's fine. <laughs> I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. I can do it. You already did it once. We yeah. already did. <laughs> <laughs> I just think it's such a funny sound. It's such a telling sound. They're like, bruh, sitting in a hotel and whenever the room next to you is just going off, yeah. it's always so funny to yeah, me. Yeah, and you're just sitting there with a smile on your face, yeah, you know? holding your Wojak. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Love listening to a man get pleasured. <laughs> love, love listening to a man pleasure himself inside a woman. Who likes listening to, who likes who likes listening listening to girls get pleasure? Oh my God, dude. Fucking Just insane start to this episode. Dude having, his, dude having sex with his girl and he's like, she's like, oh my God. It's like all these compliments. He's like, hey, can you keep it down? <laughs> you're ruining it for me. Okay, I don't want to know that you're happy. Okay, I need to focus on me being pleasured. That's what, I, that's what I was saying, man. That's fucked up. That's so. That's a Sociopath. Socio- sociopath. Yeah. Just sociopath. Sociopath, dude. That's a so- <laughs> That's a sociopath. That's classic <laughs> sociopath behavior. Oh my god, stop it! Don't be for the sociopath. <laughs> oh fucking hell! How you feeling, um, bro? You've been shooting for a few days. A little tired? <clears throat> yeah, dude. It's just fucking been, dude. Being on set is just the most boring shit ever. It's, Even when you're shooting the most fun, <clears throat> it's it, tough. Yeah. Real Bros is the easiest job ever. It's just, yep. just go and have fun. Yep. You know? Yep. Me and Peter Gilroy were talking about that. He was like, dude, this is so easy. I get to set and my line is, yo. Yeah. Yeah. And that dude, by the way, is one of the funniest motherfuckers I've ever met in my entire <laughs> yeah, life. He's the funniest dude. So talented at yeah. what he does. He just gets into character. He's like, he's like half method sometimes. It's yeah. crazy. Like, you know, not even close to action. We're, we're just like, we're rehearsing or whatever. And then between rehearsing and, and not even close to action yet, cameras getting set up and everything. He just, just, just closes his eyes, gets into character and is, is fucking Johnny. It's wow. crazy. Wow. It's like mad impressive. And it's hilarious. <laughs> like interacting with him and it like put, gets you into it too. You yeah, know? for sure. Um, yeah, I think, uh, but, no, go ahead. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. No, no, no. I just wanted to say like, I think that's the thing that, oh, we've talked about this before, but like. Acting is like the time on set that you're actually acting. I was probably like 15%. Yeah. The rest of it is just being ready yeah. to do it. Yeah. And like in this particular set, the base camp was <laughs> like a van drive away from set. Oh. So like you can't even go back to your trailer. Like I, I bring <laughs> now I'm bringing earphones and I bring like my computer and shit. So I can yeah. like write during the times where I'm just sitting around. Yeah. But when you're on set. Like waiting for like, there's literally nothing to do but no. just sit there, mm-hmm. and it's a hundred degree heat. Yep, barely any shade. Yesterday yep. was just like ten hours of sitting in the sun. It was crazy. Yep, which just exhausts the shit out of you. I got back and I was just dead, warped. Yep. Um, but like, like the writing is so goddamn funny, and it's gonna be really, really funny. I think. Yeah. No, it seems like it. I mean, from the bits that I saw. Yeah. Yeah. It'll be good. It's gonna be money. Everyone in the show is so damn funny. So it's dope. Um and um. <clears throat> yeah, we we're in the uh, in the initial stages of um, discussing like a full musical project. Oh yeah, yeah. Because we hit twenty grand on Patreon. Fucking shout out to you all. Yeah, shout out to you guys. Big I'm, thank I'm, you. We hit twenty thousand dollars a month. Oh my god, dude. Okay, okay, okay. All right. No, for real. Big, 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 big yeah. up, dude. Thank big you to up. the Patreon contributors. We appreciate you. You, to the fullest, um, man. you know, as corny as it sounds, you've changed our, you've changed our lives. No, you really have. Because I was actually thinking about like for the uh, tour, how like I mean, I'm kind of giving stuff away here, but now nah, maybe I'll, I'll just yeah, save it the way I want to hype it. Yeah, yeah, save it. Yeah, I had some ideas. No, it it really is crazy. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. it's fucking insane. And our goal when we hit twenty grand a month is to do a drop a full album, and, and we so, wanted to do that anyway. So, but we're gonna do. So, we, and we'll talk more about it when it when the time comes. Gets but, closer. <clears throat> but we've been working <clears throat> on stuff already, yep. so uh, we already have tracks, um, kind of half done. Mm-hmm. But <clears throat> we've definitely been choosy about what what we do next with music because. I think that's been good because the progression's there. Yeah. Like from Super Zan to Clout. Yeah. You know, Super Zan felt like we were trying real hard. Clout was a bit of a mixed bag. And then I feel like Stay Safe is where we kind of want to land. Mm-hmm. Uh, keep talking. Uh, yeah. So um, we've been 
I've just been talking to people about getting beats and getting get yeah, getting some of the getting some of the beats and mm-hmm. the pasta and the fucking veggies required so, to make the whole fucking cannoli. The whole fucking salad. The whole fucking cannoli. Concerns. Sorry. I was like hibiscus flour? Is that a hibiscus flour? Um God damn um, it. I got a lot of ums too. Dude, today. did you um um <laughs> um 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 Oh, you know, so someone says on stream yesterday, you looking like a whole man calendar, and that <laughs> shit. I was like, that's like, is that the that could be like a double meaning for man candy? Yeah, yeah. Yo, you looking like a man candy? I like that. Looking like a man calendar. Wait, there's one comment that I wanted to read actually that I sent to our talking points thread. Yeah. Also, what about a man calendar? But it's just like, um, not you know what? No, I don't want to get hurt. I don't want to get hurt. Mm-hmm. This is this is the problem now. Mm. I feel like I'm in this thing where I can't be as dark as I used to be. Why? Because I feel like more people are listening to us, and so uh, now I'm like... Okay, no, 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 don't fucking worry about that <sighs> shit. Okay, uh, man calendar, but it's all incel, guys. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Do I... <laughs> that was the fastest regret I've Vol-cell. ever... False cell. False cell. Yeah. False cell? Yeah, vol cell. They're, but they're, they're... So they're all false cells? Vol cell. Is it vol? Yeah. I thought voluntary. it was voluntary. No, voluntary. So voluntarily. That's what they say about dudes who like they think can fuck, but just like don't work out enough or something. Oh, I thought it was false, like false incel. Like that was a, with an F. Mm, I don't think so. That I, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. We're both going to butcher this and we're going to get the hate. I know. Maybe I this has to be a bonus it. episode. <laughs> I think we're already going to get it. This has to be a bonus episode. Man. No, I'm no. I'm joking. I'm joking. We got to do one though. Yeah, we do have to this do week. One. By the way, I just, oh my God, this is what I want to talk about. What? Okay, so fucking yesterday, I booked a trip to Greece. Yes. Right? And uh, and so basically, I wanted to tweet something about the fact that I'm going to Greece. I think it's hilarious because we I roasted everyone that's ever been to Greece before yep. and everyone that's ever taken a picture in Greece. And I know I'm just going to go there and do the same shit because it is fucking beautiful, right? Yeah. And so I booked this trip. As soon as I booked it, I tweeted. I said, <laughs> just booked a trip to Greece. Can't wait to get roasted to oblivion. Yeah. This is the same day as the <clears throat> fi- the wildfires in Greece claimed like 70 lives. Oh. And so people were like, dude, that is fucked up, man. Oh. What is this tweet? What is oh. this tweet? And I was oh. like, oh. And I, and I like took a shower or something, came back and was reading the replies. I'm like, no, no. I literally chose the worst time to wow. tweet that. Wow. Yeah, Could you that imagine that if me. I meant that about the fires? That's Sweet. Just booked a trip to Greece. Can't wait to get, get a, fucking a, toasted alive. <laughs> <laughs> it's like 40 people have been have died in this awful wildfire. That's some like Jesselnik shit right there. Dude. That was bad, Unintentionally man. money. Um, and then another thing is I posted the uh, knock it off. The knock it off video. That was yeah. this week. We yeah. haven't talked. We haven't chatted about this to them. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> But I was proud of that one. We did yeah. that. It was it was yeah. fun to well, make I mean, that. It was, it was definitely it was your bit. I yeah. I got my little. <laughs> yeah, you fucking you got my came little thing in at the end. Swung in that had the that had the exact right effect that we were hoping. Yeah, like yeah. this you swinging in. Yeah. People were like, <laughs> oh fuck. Um, <laughs> that fucking locals uh, after they watched Thirteen Reasons yeah, Why. Yeah, yeah. That's just that shit so has good. one and a half million views. Insane. More just than didn't even tag me. Yep, of course. It's so crazy. Of course. I don't really give a shit about that stuff. I just think that's funny. Yeah. Um, so someone replies to that tweet. This mm-hmm. Andrew kid replies to uh, locals after watching the 13 Reasons Why, right? Yeah. So it's my knock it off music video that someone just like stole and posted. He goes, Cody Co is too fucking funny, man. Shame Vine shut down. Bloke was hilarious. <laughs> was. Past tense. <laughs> You were funny. Man, it's such a shame Vine broke down. Broke, This yeah. funny thing that you really enjoyed that you just watched that's yeah. way longer form than Vine and has a lot more effort put into it, it's but t- it's mass fucking shame. Yeah. You can't watch me in six seconds anymore. Yeah, it's too bad Vine needed an oil change. Yeah. No one could have. It just it broke down. This music video would have been way funnier in six seconds. Yeah. Knock it. Yeah. Oh, what, was, what, what was that? Knock it off. Knock. What? I don't get it. I don't it. get it. Yeah, that that's that's what I try to do. It was just fucking smash sketches in the six seconds. Yeah, that didn't work out. Yeah, it did. You got a the little millionaire bit, little shit. Dan Blazarian poster. <laughs> Danny um, Bill. And then also one more DM I want to read for the for everyone here. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna put this person on blast. I'm not gonna say their name, but they DM me. They said, 
Cody, I'm thirsting over someone in the TMG Discord. What do I do? <laughs> so I'm just saying this, all right? I'm not going to play Cupid or anything, but I'm just saying, you know, if you're someone. getting a little bit flirty with someone, I'm just saying there's love going down in the TMG Discord. Yeah. If you're a member of the Discord, which now we have like 2,000 people in there or some shit, and it's very active. Yeah. There's, there's shit popping off, okay? If you're getting a little flirty with someone... They might like you back. It might be this girl. Yeah, it might be this girl. I'm reading through our community section on Patreon. Someone said, yo, Cody, she's talking shit. Clap back. Who? Who is this she? Uh, uh, uh. Cody. Cody Carter hot on the case. I don't know. <laughs> Who's talking shit about me? Who's talking shit about me? Who's talking shit about me? <clears throat> I've been getting a lot of shit talk. We're no, not going to get into no, it. No, I'm worried. We're fine. I'm scared, dude. I'm scared. I'm scared I got the shit talk. Hmm? I'm scared someone's talking shit about me. I'm scared, dude. You're scared? I'm scared. No, I am. Are you? No, I'm not scared. <laughs> I just, I just, you know, I don't want that. All right, we've been going for an hour 15. We got to go get to film this video. Oh, yeah. Um. <clears throat> oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Follow up on that DM. Never mind. He got a girlfriend. Thanks for coming to my TED Talk. <laughs> oh. oh, oh, damn. It's okay. Keep, hey, keep thirsting. Keep thirsting. It's Maybe fine. something will happen, you know? Yeah. Um, wait. Last thing. Uh, a lot of you were like, oh, play the Love Island mobile game. Uh, we did that shit. Mm -hmm. So it's on my Twitter when you hear this. So go watch go. us. It actually, it actually turned out to be a very funny video. There you go. So uh, ding, 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 da, ding, ding, off. Any other house cleaning? Oh, we've been getting a lot of questions about this promo code. Our $15 Patreon tiers. Where the fuck is our promo code? Oh, yeah, right. We'll do we're, that. We're working it out. Yeah. And so so here, here, here's <laughs> my plan. Because, um, because it didn't come out in a timely manner, I'm thinking we just make it a fat discount to make it up to you. Yeah. We'll make it right. We'll make it a fat, big old fat, fat piece. Mm-hmm. Piece out of the pie, we'll, we'll just give it up so you can get some more of that sweet, sweet merch. Sweet, sweet merch. And if you want merch, you can go to fanjoy.co slash TMG. Bam. And uh, last but not least, I want to finish the episode again by thanking Vincero Watches for sponsoring. The boys. You can go to vincerowatches.com. That's V-I-N-C-E-R-O watches.com slash tinymeat07 and enter the promo code TINYMEAT, all caps, to get 15% off your entire order. That's a watch for fifteen percent off, baby. Yeah, get, get a that watch luxury timepiece to match your merch. Mm -hmm. Get a timepiece to match your merch. We appreciate you. All right, y'all. Bye.